Hey everyone. When I first started this, I um, said that every so often I was going to um, talk and make some videos and talk about some current events and some sporting events and stuff that I watch because I like to like watch a lot of sports. So um, you can always comment, um, message us on, on throughout all platforms. Um, you can just if you want to talk, have fun, have conversations. If you like something, you don't like something, uh, something that would make me better at this or whatever. And we can, like I said, have some conversations and have some fun. So um, let's get started. Yeah, so this past week, um, the MLB had their All-Star game. It was held in Seattle. Um, it was good. Um, I've been watching the All-Star game for since I was a little kid. I like to watch the uh, Home Run Derby. Um, God, there was a show back, I don't know if it was in the 70s or whatever, Home Run Derby. Um, it was pretty cool. I remember watching it. And uh, But anyways, um, so it was good. Um, so this year, um, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. from the Blue Jays won it. Um, he's a big boy. Uh, during the uh, home, home Run Derby, there was a total of 31, I mean, I'm sorry, 341 total home runs which was a treat for the fans because that's why they're there for. So a lot of people got to go home with a lot of souvenirs and they have different color balls and stuff like that. So the way it was this year and what it's been in the past few years, they have brackets, uh, eight players started, and then, of course, it goes to four. To... Like I said, it was good. The only thing that I, I, I don't know how I feel about is... So you have a player in, in the round, uh, you get the time limit. Hit as many home runs as you can during that time limit. You get one timeout during that, and after that, everybody gets 30 seconds. Now, during your round, if you hit two home runs over 440 feet, you get an extra bonus 30 seconds. So after the time, your time ends, if you hit over two over 440 feet, you get a minute instead of... 30 seconds that everybody gets. I don't know how I feel about that, about that because, say, for example, Mookie Betts was in home run derby. Mookie Betts is going to hit home runs, but he's not going to hit one, let alone two, over 440 feet. With that said, he wouldn't get the minute, the extra 30 seconds. There was a particular player, I think it was from the Baltimore Orioles, if I'm not mistaken, um, that had a really good round, the one that he went against had the extra 30 seconds, and that's how he was able to beat him with using the extra 30 seconds. So I, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, it's a treat for people because they're there to watch home runs, and of course, the more time you have, the more home runs you're going to have. Um, but so, yeah, I, I don't I don't know how I feel about that. But anyways, comment and let me know what you think about that if you watched it. As far as the game, the National League won for the first time since 2012. The American League have been whooping that butt uh, for the last however many years in a row. So um, in the top of the eighth, uh, Colorado Rockies catcher uh, Elias Diaz hit a two-run home run and ended up winning the game. Uh, he was named the MVP, of course. <sighs> UFC. Who likes the UFC? So, um, the UFC 290 happened, and it was uh, Volkanovski versus uh, Rodriguez. Volkanovski was the champion. He is the champion. And uh, Rodriguez was the interim champion. This was under 145 pounds. The last fight that Volkanovski fought, he went up in class and uh, didn't win. It was a good fight. I remember watching it. Um, but he couldn't... Uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, when? So he came back down in, 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 in weight, and uh, I'm telling you, this Volkanovski guy, I don't know if you know UFC, if you know the name or not, amazing. I personally think that he's the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter the UFC has right now. Um, so uh, the co-main event was uh, Alexander Pantoja, Pantoja, um, and he was fighting Brandon Moreno, who was a champion. Pantoja won and took the belt away, uh, uh, from Moreno, good fight, bloody fight. Um, again, I don't, I don't know how these guys <laughs> do it. Um, one of the fights that I that that was in that particular, you know, card or whatever um, was Duplessis. Duplessis fought and he won. He won 
uh, impressively uh, TKO in the second round. He beat uh, this guy named Whitaker. Um, again, this part I don't like. If you know the UFC, you know the name Israel Adesanya. Again, I don't know if I mispronounced that name or not, but Israel Adesanya. Well, he was in the crowd, and they kept showing him. And, of course, you know, they, they, they promote themselves and stuff like that. So, um, he did, after the Duplice, Duplice one, he demanded a face-off with Duplice in the middle of the ring. Um, the guy had just won a fight, impressive fight. <clears throat> Adesanya went into the middle of the octagon and had a face off and started saying racial comments they're both like south african or something and um if you've seen it you know what i'm talking about if you didn't um you need to look it up and and let me know what you think about it it took away they were trying to interview him the winner and this guy came and was showboating and 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 wouldn't let the other guy talk and it was just um I don't know. I just did not like that because it took away from the guy um, after winning, and uh, so I just don't think that's right. Um, another one, and, and it's just not a good look for UFC. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you can do that after or whatever, not as soon as the guy finishes because he's they're over there trying to interview him, and 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 this guy's doing all the talking after I guess kind of like being a baby and demanding that he goes up there and and, and have a face off. Um, and it just took away. They were trying to interview him. He couldn't get a word in. And at the end, I think he put his hands up or whatever. And then, like, walked away to his corner. And, like, pretty much didn't get to, like, I don't know, finish his interview. I think that was his time. And it should have been his time. And uh, I don't know. Didn't like it. Um, I do want to mention Robbie Lawler. If you know the name, he won in 38 seconds. Um, great fighter, great career. 22 years. He retired after 22 years. I mean... I don't even know how this guy do it for a couple of years, but just 22 years, that's pretty impressive. So he called it quits, and he's retiring, and uh, good for him. Um, but um, the next one is uh, UFC 291, um, and it's going to be uh, July 29th, and it's going to be Dustin Poirier <laughs> against Justin Gaethje. Um, Gaethje, Gaethje, whatever. Again, I don't know if I mispronounced the names, and I'm sorry if I did. Um, but that should be a good fight. Uh, Poirier is a good fight and uh, a good fighter. And uh, it should be entertaining. So, uh, looking forward to that one. Okay. What? Okay, speaking about UFC, what's with this Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg uh, fighting, supposedly, or something? I mean, I, I guess when you're a multi-billionaire, uh, you can, I don't know, say you're going to fight each other or whatever. So, I'm not sure exactly what when they're going to fight, how they're going to do it. He's going to be, I don't know if in an octagon or a boxing match. I don't know. I don't know the details or whatever yet, but um, I don't know. I don't think I'll pay for it. I mean, I'll watch it on TV or whatever, but I don't think I'll pay for it. I don't know if it's going to be on pay-per-view or whatever. Like I said, they're multi-billionaires, so I don't know if... Obviously, they don't need the money, so I don't even know what they're doing. I know that they've been mad at each other for like 8, 9, 10 years or whatever, or something with the whole SpaceX thing or whatever and Facebook, and I don't know. They just... I don't know. Anyways, hey, fight. See what happens. Um, kind of like the celebrity boxing things or whatever that they've been going on. So, um, anyways, we'll see what happens. So, um, in Thailand, Burger King. Thailand. Thailand. Thank you. Real cheeseburger. Two buns. With 20 slices of American cheese in the middle. Yes. Two buns and 20 slices of cheese in the middle. Genius. Hey, good for them. Here we are talking about it. Everybody else is talking about it, right? I mean, I don't know if I'll spend the three, four, however many dollars it costs. Um, I could just get some burger buns and, and put 20 slices of cheese. <laughs> I, I just, I, I don't get it. But they're calling it the real cheeseburger. And uh, at first I was like, oh, that's weird. That's what I genius i mean good for them they're getting the publicity and uh i'm sure they're making some money out of it and uh, i'm sure somebody else um is gonna come up with some crazy stuff so i was just surfing in the internet and they had something about um how to 
you know, a lot of people do that ice baths and stuff like that. And I know a lot of law enforcement officers and, 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 and gyms and stuff. They have, like, where you have, like, the ice bath to, like, help you recuperate and muscle aches and stuff like that. But um, I was reading and it was, like, giving you instructions of uh, making the perfect ice water. And I'm thinking to myself, what? So, of course, I start reading. And, uh, man, some other people take it seriously, which, okay. But they have this guy, and he's talking about the perfect bath, ice bath, or whatever. And he says that um, he lives in Arizona or something. And the uh, tap water from Arizona is warmer than any other place or something. So he started with, like, filling up the tub with water, two bags of ice, and two bags of ice was melting too quickly or whatever. So it turned to four and into six bags and then eight bags. And I'm thinking to myself, holy crap, how did I get here? You know what I mean? How, how did I get here? The perfect ice bath. I mean, whatever. And then, of course, I keep reading because that's what I do. So then this guy's talking about, like, the perfect place or whatever. And then there's talking about, like, old freezers. You can buy an old freezer of course, and they're like, of course, unplug it when you're cleaning it and doing this stuff and you're filling it up or whatever. These people are buying freezers, putting them with water or whatever, and getting in there because of the seals and stuff. Don't go kill yourself just to get in a freaking ice bath. Go in your bathtub, fill it up with ice. Anyways, again, comment. Does anybody know? what the left lane here yeah i'm going to give you a little class in driving and, and and stuff like that so when you're driving in the highway or whatever wherever you're driving here in the united states i don't know about any other country <clears throat> excuse me when you're driving what is the left lane for the left lane for is for passing it's the fast lane right you're in the left lane you're you're in the middle lane somebody's low you're going to pass them, you go in the left lane, you pass them, and you move over to the right and keep going to wherever you're going. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go Celtics. The reason I bring this up is because recently me and Jennifer, we went over and we drove to Kentucky, uh, spent some time there, and then we drove down to Tennessee, and then obviously back here. Recently, yesterday, yeah, yesterday we drove to Orlando, um, and came back here, home. Now, well, we went to Apopka, then we went to Orlando, and anyway, so we were driving in the highway. The uh, tractor trailers are out of control. When I tell you they're out of control, they are out of control. Yesterday, we're on the turnpike, I believe, right? Be you know, we're going to go turnpike to I-4 to go to where we were going. And on the turnpike, at one point I counted and I tell Jennifer, there are six lanes. One, two, three, four, five, six lanes. They had this tractor trailer, 18 wheeler, whatever you want to call them, on the left lane, going about 60 miles per hour. 60 miles per hour on the left lane. And this guy's, and there's construction and all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, man, this guy's out of control. So, what I'm telling you, the left lane is for passing. And the reason I bring that up is because South Carolina, I know we're not in South Carolina, I'm in Florida, but South Carolina is going to start giving citations, $25 citations, if they catch you in the left lane, kind of like, I guess, going slow, right? So they're going to ticket you if you're going slow. Now, people are saying, oh my God, I'm going to get a ticket for going too slow. Yes. Say the speed limit is 70. And let's say you're going 65, right? Say you're going 68, whatever the case might be. Maybe you're going 70 and you're in the left lane and you're not passing somebody. And somebody behind you, there's two, three, one, two, three, four, five, ten cars on the left lane and they're trying to pass, but they can't pass because you're going your 60 whatever miles per hour. They're going to stop you and they're going to give you a ticket. So the answer to the question of like, wow, they're going to ticket me for going too slow? The answer is yes. Why? It's for passing. So and remember also to move over when there's like a broken down or a police officer or a trooper or whatever um, that have somebody stop. 
Um, that's also a lot here in Florida. I'm not sure everybody else, but that's in Florida. But anyways, left lane is for passing. I'm telling you, when we went up to Tennessee, I think on the way down to uh, from Kentucky to Tennessee, I mean, there was just out of control. There was uh, tractor trailers giving us dirty looks, and it's just not cool. It's just not cool. So, um, anyways, um, yeah, yeah. So please make sure that you follow us on all our platforms. Um, comment, like I said, like. Um, just let us know. Um, let me know anything that I can do to uh, make it better. Um, but um, yeah. So thank you for watching. Um, and uh, stay hydrated. It's been really, really, really hot out there. I know some places have like way over 100 degrees. I know Edwin up in Oregon uh, keeps rubbing it in because I think it was like 75 or something the other day. I was out here cutting the grass today and uh, me and Jennifer were doing a little bit of landscaping or whatever and we were just dripping like with sweat. It was so hot and humid. Then it rained for a little bit and then it just got muggy and, and, and just humid like crazy. So... But um, at least we have a pool and we went in it. So, but um, no, stay hydrated, be safe out there, and uh, remember the left lane is for passing. All right, take care. See ya.